Hi, I'm just going to uh, talk a little bit about my images again this week. Hoping it will help other people that are um, thinking about wedding photography or portrait photography or any, any little advice I can give to help other people out. Um, sorry, little uh, something flying in the air. Okay, this is a portrait of the bride that I took um, pre-ceremony on the beach. And um, people ask, how do I get such a blue sky? I don't use a filter. I don't use a Photoshop uh, or um, some kind of uh, filter. What I do is I just use a fast shutter speed. The faster your shutter speed, well, when you use a fast shutter speed, you get, you know, a really nice blue sky. So uh, I did do a vignette on this one so to bring the focus in on the bride. So it is a little uh, darker blue at the top. So for this one, I just simply had the bride. Um, I, I try to make my portraits look casual. And she had the most beautiful dress with the most beautiful train. So I just had her take the dress and kind of go like this, you know, frolic, wave it around, look over her shoulder at me. Um, and she felt silly, so she had this laugh and natural smile on her face. Um, let's see, I wanted to separate her from the water, so I um, was using uh, Aperture of 3.2, and I was also zoomed in. I was using my 16-35 to 35 lens. Um, at 31 millimeters, my shutter speed was 1 8,000th of a second, and the ISO was 200. Next, this was as we were leaving the beach. Um, flag, okay. This is 1 4,000th of a second, F 4.5. I used my 2470 and this was at 24 millimeters ISO 160. I thought about uh, photoshopping out this umbrella, but um, the sky is lighter down there than it is up here. So I was worried that maybe I should have tried it, but I was worried that it would look photoshopped. Um, maybe I could have uh, used um, the patch tool and circled it and moved. I'll try that after. but. Um, I, I laid on the ground so I wouldn't see all the people on the beach because the beach was packed. And you can see over here some beach chairs. Um, so I, um, the, an another thing the low aperture did for me was uh, blur the foreground a bit. Um, do I have anything else to say about this? No. No, that's about it. Okay, next. Um, this picture with the theme of, where'd my coffee go? The theme of light. Um, this was in the bridal suite. Very crowded, cluttered bridal suite. Food around, bags around. Um, there was a window to the bride's right. I took this without the flash. Her eyes were amazing. She had the most beautiful eyes. And when I had her face the window or quarter turn face the window, the light just filled in her eyes. I did not do any Photoshopping to her eyes. I didn't need to. Um, uh, so this one was one 160th of a second shutter speed, F3.5. I used my 2470 and I zoomed into 32 millimeter. Uh, this was wallpaper behind her, and I oh and I okay it was wallpaper behind her, so I zoomed in with the low aperture so it would be um, blurred in the back. And another important thing is I did not use the flash in this because I wanted that dramatic side lighting. If I would have used a flash for fill purposes or just because I was inside, I wouldn't have the dramatic chiaroscuro lighting coming in uh, from the side. Next picture, daddy crying. Um, when I take 
pictures of the dances, the first dances and the parent dances. I use my 70 to 300 because I want to zoom in. They need to have their dance. They need to have their moment. And if I'm right on top of them trying to get this close up with a 16 to 35, dad wouldn't cry. They wouldn't be hugging so close. They would feel like they needed to stop what they were doing and smile at me because they see the camera. So when I take the dance pictures, I'm actually off the dance floor. For this one, it was still uh, light out. It was like 6 p.m. Um, and behind me were windows letting the natural light come in. So again, I didn't use the flash for this. Um, I used 180th of a shutter speed, f5.6, um, no flash, ISO was 1250, and I used my 70 to 300, and again, I was zoomed in to uh, 210 millimeters. And um, the larger image of this, this is uh, resized to fit the screen, but what I like about this picture is the emotion. Lindsay the bride just tucked her head into her dad to hide that she was crying. And not only was dad crying, the larger image you can actually see the wet tear um, below his eye. But he was smiling. I'm sorry, I'm getting emotional. I'm losing my dad right now and it's Father's Day and this is really hard to talk about. Um, I like that they're holding hands. You can see that they're dancing. When I took it from the other side, their arms around each other. So it almost looked like they were just hugging. So without showing their full body, because their hands are holding the way they are, you could see that they're dancing. And daddy was just holding her so tight with his cheek against her face and crying and smiling at the same time, showing his his pride and his joy and his love for his daughter. Uh, so that's it. Sorry, I'm emotional. Um, <laughs> that's it. I uh, hope anything I said helps you in any way. Um, I might go back and, and burn some detail into here because I don't like as blown out as it is. I can see the buttons, but there there was more lace detail, so I might go in and, and burn that a bit and uh, clone out this lint on Dad's uh, jacket. Okay, that's it. Thank you for watching. I forgot I have one more picture. This picture, um, after the reception, the reception ended at 10 p.m. So we went out at 10.30, and again, like last week, when I before I take the bride and groom away from the reception or outside, I go out, I take some test shots, because I don't want to pull them out of the reception longer than I have to. Um, so this was a very long shutter speed. Um, the, I wanted the reflection of the light that is not photoshopped in. That was a spotlight back there. And I even have reflections of the piling. There was some light from the venue that was um, coming on the bride's uh, veil and dress. I had her holding her dress. One, because the dock was so narrow, I didn't want that dress falling in the water. And two, I liked the texture of the dress, the roughly texture. So I had her hold it so I could see that texture and it also makes it look more casual and less posed. Um, the groom originally had his hand on his, her waist. I asked him to touch her face or touch her shoulder, whatever felt natural to him. And he touched her shoulder as he kissed her. And I, I felt like that really uh, made it romantic. Um, again, the bride had her veil off 
I had her put it on for this. And uh, let me tell you what the settings were. F3.2, ISO 6400. I used my 15 millimeter fisheye and the shutter speed was one tenth of a second. So I had to ask the bride and groom to stand completely still, freeze in that kiss, just freeze. Um, there was, I don't use a tripod, um, so uh, what I do is I just sit with my knees like this and brace my camera. Another thing I do, the first time I hit the shutter speed, I would have camera shake. So what I do is I put it on the rapid fire, so I halfway down to focus, and then click it all the way down, click, 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 click. So the camera shake only happens with the first shutter release, and then the rest, the camera's completely still. Um, if you can't, maybe I'm less shaky than other people. I, I'm not saying don't use a tripod. I just don't use a tripod because um, I, I feel like it limits my range. You know, if I'm using a tripod, I won't get different angles. I'll kind, kind of be set to where the tripod is. Um, and I could just move quicker and I'm steady enough with my hands that I can shoot at one tenth and not have any issues. Uh, so that's it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. And now I will end the recording.